Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm gonna do another voiceover. Um, only because this one took about 18 minutes. Um, this is a 14 by 14 canvas and I, uh, it was just kind of a happy accident, but it took a little bit longer than usual because the it, the wandering pour that I did didn't it was a nice background so I turned it into a um, string pull so the colors I was using was raw sienna burnt sienna burnt umber and um, metallic gold or metallic copper excuse me there's the raw sienna. There's black, artist loft. There's the metallic copper, burnt umber, and I went ahead and added a little bit of metallic espresso to that because I knew I was going to run out, and that was the burnt sienna. So yeah, just was adding a little bit more of the metallic espresso to the burnt umber. And hopefully this is not too fast. beautiful colors together. My next video is with these same exact colors, but doing a dirty pour on a 16 by 20 and turned out real nice. Um, these colors were inspired by Wanda. I'll put her YouTube channel in my dis the link in my description so you can go and take a look at her painting, which was an 18 by 36 with these same colors. Oh, except for the metallic express, so she just used uh, burnt umber. Make sure and get all that raw sienna in there <laughs> but beautiful colors together absolutely complement each other very nicely if you get a chance take a look at my next video and you'll see they turn out very pretty although I did add quite a bit of black with my next video but I really kind of wanted a lot of black in a way So I think I'm going to run out of battery. I better run through the house and go plug it in while we're doing this. <laughs> I hope you don't have to talk over the TV set. Oh, it's not on. Good. So I should have just stayed longer in some of them spots. I went down too fast because I wanted that white in there, but eh. accidents happen. So I knew I wasn't. I was just. Uh, I looked at my cup and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's all my good colors. Turning out real pretty. 
And I knew right then and there that was going to be a background. So anytime you do a string pull or a chain pull, you want to make sure that your canvas is not thick, full of paint, because then your string or your chain will just kind of bury in the paint and disappear. <clears throat> so as soon as I tip this off, I start to just kind of go in that one corner, trying to save that pretty area right there at the top right the left bottom corner I'm saving that and I'm just tilting down <clears throat> and getting off as much paint as possible Kind of skip ahead a little bit here after tilting it. So I was really liking the right side there. Just beautiful. So I decided to go ahead and do a metallic black mixed with a little bit of Artist Loft Black Flow flower on the left hand side. And I must have wiped off too much of the black on the string because it didn't show up too much. I don't think the canvas was too thick. I think I just took too much of the black off my string. I ran it between my fingers way too tight and should really do it just let pull it off of the stick. If any of you have done before you know what I'm saying. I just took too much of the black out because, yeah, it wasn't really thick. I tilted it. Got a lot of that paint off. Anytime your flower doesn't show up, you can just do it again. Just go over the same path that you went the first time. Get the top of the flower. Make sure you get the string in the same area. Trace it right in the same spots. So I just made sure my string was a little thicker with black now this time. These string pulls are time consuming. They really are when they don't work out the first time and it's just keep going over it. <laughs> but you can do that and that's what's really good about it, you know. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that light glare. It's just really bad in, in the painting. Hmm. So I was very happy with it, except for the top part. I wanted it to have a little bit more foliage. Just more height to right at the very top and I fixed that right now so if that was just a little taller I would have been happy but I fixed it so I'm happy with I'm really happy with this painting I love this painting because of that background it's very very pretty
uh, that light and the cameras and they just never do paintings justice seeing them in per person is just so different made it a little taller that's it after this I was real happy with it hopefully you can see it up close long enough because I am on fast speed here but uh if you don't get a good look at it go ahead and let go back to the beginning of the video guys and Take a look at the pictures. Yeah, that was pretty. Yeah, attending wasn't very fast. It's so fast there. But do you see how the side here on that side looks real marbly and just real pretty woody? So I didn't want to mess with that side. Just beautiful colors together. And then the black um, celled up some. So that was kind of neat too. That it did give it some character there. A little bit of copper I'm pointing at right there. That was just kind of full. I did put a little black in there just to cover up a little bit of that copper. And that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.